They said, what happened with you and Kodak? Oh! Yeah. They said, did you fuck with Instagram models or are they all fake? Hi. 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 Carry your man on here. Like, what Fuck you that. It depends on the bag, period, pool. It Like, we were friends before any of that. Like, but I hate when people do that with us. Like, people swear we're not real friends. Like, like people think we just became <laughs> friends out of nowhere, like, out of thin air. But I met Kyra at Elsa's. She was walk she walked in. And I was like, do you remember that? Yeah, I was on a date. You was not on a date. You always say that. Yes, I was. You was with another girl. I was who? What it did was she some look girl. Like? She was brown skin. I didn't have no yes, other friends. Yes, Kyra was a lesbian. <laughs> She had to be a lesbian. I was not a lesbian. I swear she was on I a swear, date. I swear, I swear, I thought I was on a, I was, was after I got done fragrance modeling, I was literally, like, I went to Elsa's and I thought I was on a, I was on a date. Like, that's that what day. I remember. Not that day. But, so I seen you and she walked in and she, I was like, damn, she is so fucking fine. And I already knew who Jasmine was. You did? Yeah, because I was never going to argue that. Yes, I did. I told you at the restaurant, I was like, um, don't you work with Andre? I was like, because I want to get my hair done from here. I can't remember. My next question. We weren't done. We bitch. weren't done. That was <laughs> so this is how we met. Okay. So I Kyra walked in and I thought she was so pretty. I had never seen her before. Mind you, we from Milwaukee, Milwaukee super. Small. I'm not from Milwaukee, I'm from Racine, but, but she I have in Milwaukee from Milwaukee. What I thought She thought she was gonna be. But I, I was like, oh my god, I walked up to her, I was like, you are so pretty, you know? I'm that type of bitch. Yeah, she is. And I'm like, you should be one of my models. For, I had a, a shoot coming up, like a, like a, a hair video shoot. I think it was for your class. Your, yeah, your it was for me and um, Izzy. Yep, together. Yeah, we had a class, we did a video shoot, and Kyra was my model. And we have been friends literally ever since. Ever like since. I was with Jasmine like every day. Yeah, like, ever since. And then this bitch got a nigga and she disappeared. You know how bitches is when they get niggas. That bitch disappeared. She I, weak I, I did So she get a nigga. She but I was literally with Jasmine every day, y'all. Like I was spending night there every day. Um, we became really, really we good lived, friends. We lived down the street from each other. Yeah, but you had a nigga, so I wasn't invited. Oh bitch, yes you were. Shut up. <laughs> Until he was vanished. Now I'm back in the picture. Mm -hmm. Everybody nigga always think I'm the hoe in the group. And really they the hoes. Bitch, I ain't no hoe. <laughs> <laughs> she enforces us to be, do whole things. That's Everybody how nigga think I'm a hoe. And it's really they bitches. They <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's how we met. We met at Elsa's. Yeah, so we met at Elsa's seven years ago. So mind you, we have been friends for seven years. And you know it's hard to find real friends. So this bitch is my real friend. Yes. <laughs> Y'all, we've been into it. She got mad at me. Remember you got mad at me because of the eyelash thing? What happened? I didn't come to your eyelash thing. Yes, you stupid bitch. And yeah, I, I was fucked up. <laughs> I was like, I Cause just... you guess what? Guess where you were? Who you were with? Yeah. You're a nigga. Y'all, she was Don't really mad at me too. Niggas. She's, but anyways, next question. The next question is by ambitious underscore queen dot e. I She said, okay, how old were y'all when y'all lost y'all virginity? <laughs> and I, <oop. laughs> How old I was 18. 18, I was 15. I was 15. You I was 14? I was 15. Oh. You. I was 13. Oh, shit. That was too young to be fucking. We was hunching. <laughs> Y'all was dry humping? Nah, we was looking for it. <laughs> was your first a man? Mine? Yeah. It was. It was? When, we when you was 13? And we used cocoa butter lotion and blue. No. Oh my God, bitch. I promise you. People I was 18, y'all. I was so scared to have sex. Like, 
I wasn't scared. I was bitch. scared. I was prepared. I've been watching porn all my life. I knew the moment was ready. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Jasmine likes sex. It y was nothing like the fucking porn I used to watch. That shit hurt it so bad. No, it I did I was hurt. like, what the fuck is this? How do people be moaning? I was trying to make myself moan. It just was not enjoyable. And guess what? I got pregnant. Yep, y'all. She got pregnant young, but it's I okay because look at her success Listen. now. I got a, we got, we got got a fucking 12 year old. Yeah, I mean, let me next question, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. Next question. She's like, come on, bitches. Lucky underscore classy, the number one, said, give us the sex tea. We need some tips. What? We don't even have sex like that. <laughs> She's lying. Why we gotta talk about sex? Yes, Jazz, me too, LL. I'm like, how the fuck they be moaning like yes, that? Yes, I thought was so sex good. was gonna be like, um, when you watch porn before you <laughs> have sex, that shit like, it's gonna feel so good. Like, oh my God, I cannot wait. Bitch, that shit hurt. That shit hurt so fucking bad. And you know what's fucked up? I did it again, because I wanted to know what I missed the first time. And then I got pregnant. It was fucked up. What's your favorite sex position? For who? You. Who's Javier, what's your favorite sex position? Run the back, bitch. Tell it ass up. <laughs> Beat that shit out of the I actually like sex like face to face. Yes. I don't like it. I, I like writing though. Because I like to make out. <laughs> that nigga popped my cherry. I like to make out. Like I think I, I love like, making out too. Yes. But I gotta have sex like when I have sex, it has to be with somebody I really, really like. Like, I can't just You be, gotta have a connection. I can't just be fucking like, it's not gonna be there. It's not gonna be right. Pretty girl J underscore underscore. She asks, how do y'all get over heartbreak? I'm so depressed, I barely leave the house. You barely leave the house, you have to leave the house. But it's okay to feel it the I'm first time. I'm gonna get on this YouTube video, fuck this, I'm on it. But the thing is, with the heartbreak, like, I am the most getting over heartbreak person I know. She's so good at heartbreak. <laughs> she, no, she can though. I get over her. I don't give a fuck Shit. how much I loved you. I get over a nigga so fast. She do. I don't know what it is. It's like. Jazz got to hop on that nigga. <laughs> no, but me, for me, when I go through a heartbreak, a heartbreak, I go so hard with doing makeup. Like. She just so I go hard as fuck. Then I go, I get to working out. I mean, I'm still fat, but I work out a lot. Yeah, work out. <laughs> working out oh, is yeah. probably the best way you can get over a breakup. You, That's one of the things that you need to do. Yes, because when you look better, you feel better. And then you gonna go out, you gonna get more attention well, from the more niggas. You gonna feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. Next question is asked by some shit I can't say, so I ain't gonna say it. They said, what happened with you and Kodak? I'm not answering that question. Next question, please. Next question. <laughs> I don't even know. Correct. I'm a Capricorn. How'd you know? What they say, yeah. are you a Capricorn? How'd she know? Because your attitude. Really? Um, this my baby daddy. Babe, I'm on live with Kyra doing a get ready. This her man that's always in love. Somebody said Kodak. Kodak. <laughs> The black. Soulja Boy. Soulja Boy voice. Someone Ooh. says. I'll say the same. Come back. Come back, baby. Come back. The next question asked was Hood niggas or educated niggas? Both. Both. I need to be a nigga to Let me tell you one thing about my nigga. My nigga is from New North. I said Charlotte. My nigga is from North Carolina. North Carolina. But he, he lives in fucking New York. So I like New York niggas. And I like country niggas, so I it's like I got both in one. I got a country nigga that dressed so like New York. It's just perfect, like God. You got country. This is it. He has country morals, but he just has an up northern voice. Yes, country morals. Very much country morals. And he accepts all my ratchet ass friends. I he love him. He he's movie. with the shit. He is with the he shit. He know what the fuck be going on. But no, I I like both. But I, I love me a hood nigga. I want a me a more educated college nigga like. And my nigga's a hood nigga, but he actually graduated from A and T with engineering degree. Oh yeah, he does have a Period. degree. I seen the uh, picture. <laughs> Baby, we're gonna be straight. <laughs> Her nigga is smart. <laughs> I need me a smart hood nigga. Yeah, that's a bad. I I hate. You know when you get too much of a corny nigga, you be kind of embarrassed. Somebody said you're so lucky. 
Yes, girl, I've been through a lot of heartbreaks to get where the fuck I'm at today. And I can't wait till it's my turn because baby girl, it's been lonely. You got, a, you got one nigga, I mean one person, Asking a lot of questions. Good Lord Almighty. But I'm only asking one question from you. Well paid got Keith. Um not well paid Keith. Mm-hmm. Keith asks, when are you moving to the A with the emotion of his tongue out like this? Oh. I wanna move to Atlanta at the end of the year. Kyrie needs to move to Atlanta now. Keith also asks, <laughs> damn Keith. Keith trying to get a date. <laughs> Period. He said, what's your automatic turn off with a uh, turn off? Somebody that? said, y'all are the perfect balance of friends. <laughs> We're retarded. That's your thing. <laughs> but what was it? What was the question? What is a next question? Fuck you. Gay son or thought daughter? Uh, what the fuck kind of question is that? Gay son or thought daughter? Big what, if, what if you have a son then? What if you just have a son that you couldn't they have? They saying, a which one would you? It's, it's, right, so what if you just, like, I just have a son, so I couldn't have a thought daughter? No, they're not saying. What would you want to raise? Which would you want to have? You prefer to have a thought ass daughter or, or a sissy ass son. ass son? No, a lot of people already think I moved to Atlanta. I didn't move yet. People already think I'm my coach. I don't what, care. Which what, one you feel is worse? Which one is, I don't care. I, next question. I'm, I'm not answering though. that dumb no. shit. <laughs> Cause I feel like B how B will make you happy or whatever. Let me see your shit. Let me see. Someone said, when did Jazz move to Atlanta? Girl, the old lady about next week. I've been in Atlanta, praise God. She's this a native. Makes two years. And the most successful one from Atlanta, like most popular makeup artists, and not even from Atlanta. I'm very grateful. God is great. People say, how do you handle back shots? Eat what? Eat. Bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck? Bear down. Yeah, how do you do it, Javier? How do you handle back shots? Easy. You got that brace on the edge of that bed. And you got that, mm mm. That's it. I don't like doing all that. Um, so say, I haven't had back shots in a while. Um, <laughs> what about the hood shots? <laughs> You got another question about your toilet? Could I keep going? No, skip over it. Next question, please. Okay. Heck no, this is disgusting. No, I ain't reading that. What is it? What is your height and weight? That's just for Kyra. I'm like. <laughs> I'm, I'm one. I'm one. Uh, no, I'm not. No. Yeah, 150, and I'm like five five. Bitch, you only weigh 150 pounds. Mm -hmm. You were 150. I need to put. Your how size thick as a beach? I weigh like 155. Swear to God. Now she gonna add on 50 pounds. Five pounds. Five pounds. Bitch, but you yeah. like 160. Bitch, we're about to make this bitch go. So, bitch, she's trying to embarrass me. <laughs> Kicking it with the V. X. Would you have a one night stand or are you relationship sort of girl? She's a one night type of girl. Next question. No, I'm a relationship type I'm of girl. I'm a relationship type of girl too. I'm just trying to find a relationship. She said, same person asked, kicking it with me is success. She says, have you ever squirted? Of course. No, I have never. You gotta squirt. It's amazing. I've never squirted. You should try it. It's almost like pissing. Squirt so it's too. like pee? It smells like pee. Yeah. What is Jasmine's IG? Hi, she's yeah. tagged. She's tagged in my story. Keep asking them lashes. Oh, which one? Right there. In this bag, right? Um, what's the craziest place you ever had sex at? I had sex in the movie theater. The Macy's Theater Room. Whatever. Yeah, sex in Macy's Theater Room. I had, I had a boom deal back on me. I swear to God, yeah. like. I thought they right there. Yeah, those wild blacks have lashes in them. I just seen it. So I put hook stuff in it, too. Jazz is crazy. I think squirting is tea, but it feels good. It feels so good. I'm moving to Atlanta. I want to move at the end of the year. Someone asked, what is your future goals? Spontaneous and everything, yes. My future goal. Yeah, you go. You, can you go want me to go first? Yeah, go first. No, my future goal is to get married. I want to be married by 30. I'm 28. I think I found my husband now. And I guess I want another kid. <laughs> I guess. I don't really want another kid. But my dude, he don't have no kids. And I think, I know I wanna get into selling houses cause makeup is probably gonna be my number one love, but I'm probably just gonna teach 
and then start buying property. Oh, that would be smart just to teach. Yeah. I'm just gonna teach because I'm I'm handing the torch the fuck down. Bitch getting old. Up. <laughs> I'm tired. And you'll go to like bookings and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean for like celebrities. They asked a stupid question. How long does it take to have sex with a nigga? <laughs> but my future goals are um of course I wanna be the best on YouTube. Period. And I wanna have my own brand. You I'm coming gonna, out You're gonna be the best. I'm gonna I'm coming my out with gonna some be merch. the best on bitch. This bitch is fine in real life, number one. <laughs> bitch, number one. Man. This ain't no motherfucking filter. But I met, I met the bitch because she was fine, okay? <laughs> okay, the bitch is fine, she got it. So you're not- Do y'all know people think we're sisters? Every time we go somewhere, they be like, are y'all sisters? This when I got my makeup on though. <laughs> yeah, because we look more like cheeky. Like yeah, because I make my eyes. Someone said, would you ever get work done? If so, what? Me, yeah. Um, I'm trying to get some more life on. <laughs> if I was to get work done, I would want to get a boob job, because my boobs are small, but they like saggy. They not perky. Mm, I want to so, get some lipo, some more lipo. I will get lipo. And not eat it back up. Someone <laughs> says so the size matters. Yes. No. Yes. I, no, you no, don't. Size don't matter. Well, for her. <laughs> Getting on the bag. Come yeah, on. it depends on the bag. What you say? That. It depends on the bag, period, pool. If size don't Would matter. Would you rather get taken care of by a man for the rest of your life without having to lift a finger or would no, you rather No, I hate lazy bitches. No, I, cause I already had that experience. I already had a nigga sell me a dream, da da da, woo woo woo, he finna do this. And you just get comfortable with that, you don't wanna work. Why and would then, you want to depend on a nigga and after why he gonna disrespect the fuck yeah, out of you? Yeah, he is. Like no, he gonna I think that you need nigga, him for real. In Atlanta, I moved to Atlanta. I met this little young nigga. First of all, he was 22 years old. He was paying all my bills. You old? I'm 28. He was 22. He paying all the bills and then one day, first of all, he's a retarded ass Gemini. So he played me for a whole six months. He paid all the bills and bitch. One day a light bulb went off. <laughs> That motherfucker treated me like shit, like. Nah, yeah, like it's better like to. Huh? Like like no, when niggas pay your bills, I swear to God, they start treating you uh -huh. like like a ear, like you an irritating yeah, like, child. Yeah, like, bitch, you need me. Yeah, no. So you no, so you know what the fuck I did, y'all? I went home, that nigga didn't come home for two days, you know what I did? I packed all my shit up, and I moved two apartments down. <laughs> bitch, sure did. Hey, neighbor. <laughs> Right in bucket, bitch. You got me fucked up. And then he's still trying to come back around, seeing her do good. But and then God sent me an angel. Come on, sir. When's the last time you had a fight? What kind of fight? I have like me and her together. They just said fight, like bitch. Get out of the club. Bro. I don't fight. No, I don't do that. I don't next fist question. fight. Next question. What's the real tea on you and Ruby's situation? Who? That YouTuber girl. Who? And are y'all still cool? No, we're not. Next Who's question. Ruby? Never the girl. She wasn't was a real her. friend if I don't know her. Next question. Yeah. They said, do you fuck with Instagram models or are they all fake? We ain't got to do with it. Next question. No, we want to answer it. Um, I, do YouTube I cool. fuck with a couple people from Instagram. Like, I'll comment on their pictures. They'll comment on mine. But um, I only fuck with a select few because um, these bitches be fake. You never know what their intentions are. Mm -hmm. um, they have sick moments. Yeah, like it's not genuine for real. They just want to fuck with you because you got followers and they want. So to that's follow that's them. how people think of me and Kyra. Yeah, like people, people think, think we not real friends. People think that because I have a following and Kyra have a following that we use each other. But bitch, we was friends before before yeah. Instagram. Like for real. And I don't like when this bitch bring new people around me. Yeah, she hates. Oh like, I would I never mix friends. friends, like, ever. Do not bring your little bougie ass YouTube. I don't want to meet them hoes. Absolutely not. Someone said, has a celebrity ever DM'd y'all? Okay. Don't say no names. Just I'm not saying no names, but of course, celebrities DM. Someone said, also, do you currently talk to anybody? No. Who, her? Kyra. Please. I don't talk to anybody because I'm really just focused on getting to Atlanta, starting a brand. Um, I'm not wishing for no nigga. I'm wishing for this no. money. He said you need to wish for somebody. Oh. No, but I feel like the right person is going to come at the right moment in time because for you, I feel like he just came out of nowhere. That's so I'm going to choose one. NBA player or rapper? 
NBA player. NBA. No, I would never talk to another rapper. Ever. Why? That nigga felt like going to the studio was a date. Like, bitch, I'm not gonna sit in no studio with your retarded ass. You can lost. I want. I like going to games and shit. Here. NBA player for sure. What do you do when you when you're feeling down about yourself and not the cutest? Do your makeup. Yeah. Do and your makeup. hair. Like I was feeling kind of ugly today. So. Wow. Someone said can Jazz on YouTube a YouTube channel too. No, Jazz cannot. <laughs> Jess could just appear on mine all the time. Someone I'm said, not today. I'm not computer savvy at all. Someone said, would you date a white boy? Feelings about white people, white women, feelings about white women dating black men. Bitch, he paying her bills. That's not true. What about NFL players? They say, how do you feel about it? That don't bother me. A white man? Yeah. That don't bother me. No, I would really want a white man that's really like, I don't want him to act black. I want him to know black culture, but I don't want him to act black. I don't hate YouTube. No, she don't hate YouTube. She's just not really a computer person. We literally was just saying, like, if she get a MacBook, she feels like she don't even know how to work it. But I told her to make a YouTube video. No. What is your favorite? Who is your favorite musician? Um, mine. What's yours? What musician? Mine is Janelle Monet. How did Jazz build her brain? Um, she okay. moved down to Atlanta with two dollars on a bus ticket for the rich nigga. That's just how I want to hear. That's what they want to hear, so just say it to them. Nah, no, I've been in the industry for years. I traveled with Cardi B for a year. So when I moved here, I kind of already had a following. And then when I moved here, I, I still was in industry. Um, I don't know. I guess it was God's plan for real, because. Mm -hmm. I have no clue. It all worked out. Baby. It just worked out, yeah, pretty much. And she was consistent. Like, she don't never not post her work. She um built her Instagram. What else did she do? What else did I do? Shit, I went to work. Is it a bad thing to be single six years just haven't found the right one? Yeah. Yeah. Why would you say that? No, it's not a... I don't like what do are you dating Eagles, around? Baby? Do your Kegels, your coochie ain't no good, honey. That's no, it. that's not true. That's not true. But it could be close to true. You know what's funny? She's probably not even looking either. You know what's funny about me? I she love. Got to I love dating. I love going on dating. Yeah, I like dating too. I love dating. So dating in Atlanta is the funnest. You might not like them, but the type of dudes I date, first of all, they be having a bag. Second of all, they be coming up with like spontaneous ass dates. Like, I didn't like been to some shit I never thought of one day. That's why I can't wait to move to Atlanta because it's a lot more niggas out here. The niggas out here ain't really ain't bad. They ain't bad, but they just hoes. So just but have fun. I just can't wait to move to just, I don't know, to fill out some different niggas because I don't date nobody in, move in Wisconsin. Which you should not. And I don't be here enough, like, I mean, I meet niggas on the internet, but. The best yeah. sign to date, Virgo. Or, hey Jazz, ever had a Lyft or an Uber scare? Nope. I be bitches ass. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna scare me. A lot. Yeah. Virgo is the shit. Is that, what your, is that what your man is? My man is a Virgo. Damn, I need to find me a Virgo. Virgos are hustlers, they go getters, they just consistent. Virgos carry a, mis a mystery sexy about them. I love them. Okay, what's in there? Would you he has me no scissors out How do you feel about tourists, you man? Everybody there. hates them. Someone said, would you do a threesome? Yeah. <laughs> I would do a threesome. I'm moving to Atlanta. Advice. Who moving to Atlanta? Get your ass a job. Just make sure you have money, like. Make, yes, make sure you have money and make sure you got some hustle about yourself. People think they gonna move to Atlanta and shit just gonna pop. Man, no, you gotta have a plan. You can't just that shit don't work like that. I remember that when I first moved to when I first moved to Atlanta, I I used to have like eight people. I first of all, I only charge eighty five dollars. The first year, I moved, yes, because I was on like a a special, like trying to get my name out here. I did an eighty five dollars special. I would be the only one literally at the shop because Dominique didn't work on Saturdays 
or Friday. So you work Monday? I, no, I just was like doing $85. So I would like only make them pay $10 deposit. And I'd, I would have like eight people booked and only like three people would show. That's crazy. In my, in my beginning of living here. So I was sitting at the shop by myself for eight hours to only do three people. And then I was booked from like 10 to six. So I didn't even know what time, who or what. So bitch, I sacrificed. Mm -hmm. oh, you did. Period. I slept in the shop on Saturdays just to see if people would come. Motherfuckers didn't take me serious. Now look at me now. See God? Period. <laughs> that shit was no joke. So basically, have money lined up. And yes, definitely have money lined up. And at that time, I was traveling with Cardi. But the checks for Cardi was coming too slow. Like... And you needed bills too. Yeah, I, had, I still had bills. Like, when you work in the industry, sometimes it takes weeks, maybe even months. Because they made that dumbass check. So, it was all worth it though. But people think I just moved out here and it was just like hunky dory. And it you gotta wasn't. stay down for the come up, okay? Yes. Yes. It wasn't. Hmm? Question for you Who was your favorite celebrity to work with? My favorite celebrity oh, to work question. with. I have a couple actually. Who is your top fave? My top faves top are Nene. I love Nene. Um, Jada, for those who you know feel like she's celebrity. I, I like Jada. Jada's popping. And uh, Cardi was one of my one of my good clients. Like I really like her, um, Cardi. Cardi personality is popping. Like it's no bad blood with me and Cardi. Like she's still the shit. All right, Jazz, the next question for you. Name a celebrity that you want to work with. Um, I was just thinking about this the other day. Megan Meg Stallion. Stallion. Oh. I think that, I, in my, y'all know what's funny about me? I have like this intuition thing, like when I know I'm gonna work with somebody. Mm -hmm. So I, I think I'm gonna work with Megan the Stallion. I know that's you probably gonna be my next client, I, like my, back, my next big client. But if I could work with anybody in a celebrity, it would probably be Oprah. Like oh, to be Oprah. on a serious payroll, Oprah. I would deal. With, I would want to deal with somebody older, easy, and money cash flow. Like I don't really want too many Instagram people. Bitch, if I could work with Beyonce, ho. Oh, oh, that's a little far. <laughs> no, it ain't. Tyra, huh. for you. What do you plan on doing to YouTube platform? Um, what I, I love my YouTube platform because I've been through it just like other bitches have been through it And I just love making people feel like they're important and bitch, people oh, And man. Bitch what the fuck <laughs> But um, I just like to talk to people I love to make people feel good about themselves because people be like oh my god i was just in a bad mood and i just watched your video oh my god. and it just i don't know it just helps me mm -hmm. and i want to start my own brand so so what kind of brand you trying to start um clothes i love clothes i love getting dressed i love when people feel sexy in clothes like you don't even have to have um that much makeup on but if your outfit is popping then it's popping Kyra, the next question is for you. What? Kyra, what are you mixed with? <laughs> black and chink. Dominican, Mexican, and black. That bitch is Dominican, Mexican, love. <laughs> <laughs> Have okay. you ever had a turn up on a client? Hell yeah. I've never. Turn up on a client? Mm. Oh. Who was about to that time in Milwaukee? Oh yeah, but I never. And I came with my boxes. Wait, what girl? But I didn't argue with her. I just let her know. Yeah, this is, this is my policy. policy. Yeah, you can respect it or find somebody, you know. And just in case the bitch is watching, I came with my box cutter because I want to whoop your ass. Oh yeah, Javier came up there. He did. <laughs> Wait, did you end up doing her makeup though? No, no she she never shows. Does Elena of Hard Place to start? To me, there is no competition. And I feel like with anybody with the business, you shouldn't look at Com competition. Is what. You have your own style. Everybody has their own style. Lays ain't worried about fucking Doritos. Look how many pieces of bread is in the same house. Exactly. <laughs> like, I don't look at that. I never look at that. I, I look at people and I, I give them oh, props that they're 
their work is good, but I never look at other people's shit and be like, oh my gosh, she's my competition. Fuck no, for what? And you know what's big about Atlanta? Personality. People fuck with you what type of personality, personality you have. And I think that's why I've been how I am. Because and I'm so- Your image. You're down to earth. Your image. Your image is really- That's a lie, because I be fucked up on set. I do not look cute on set. Yeah, on set, but on social media, you have a very good image. You look good, you look petite, you, you dress cute. Cause ain't nobody gonna go to somebody that look crazy. But see, the people don't know that, people think, I'm like, I'm like, Well, yeah, it's that sales, for sure. But the girls think, as long as they can do makeup good, I do hair good, it should matter if they wear the label, let me tell you something. Jazz team, which you probably, I first met, what I tell you, Jazz? Have you ever had me fucked up, number what one? What he said to you? Cause you know, when I first met, where I'm from, like, they just get into wearing labels. Like, we ain't really into that shit. We are, but we not. Cause it's not available to us like it is here. We gotta go all the way to Chicago. I no, we ain't got no fucking Louis V store and all that shit. You gotta go to Chicago. So when I first got here, Javier was like, bitch, you need to get a bag or something. Like, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. He was so, bitch, I went to go buy a bag. Like, I didn't buy bags ever since. Like, I'm not fucking with you. But that's, you that bull, that's that Atlanta bullshit. That, don't listen to motherfuckers like him because it's a lie. But guess what? <laughs> it works. It, it didn't work. It do work. Cause bitch, it, That's it, a lie. It's a company bag. But I love my bags now. No. <laughs> no. I can't believe you said that, Javier. He did. He was like, bitch, you need a bag or something. I'm like, bitch. I'm like, damn, bitch, I got a foreign car. <laughs> Ain't a nice house. Like, what the fuck? Jazz said, damn, bitch, I just got here. <laughs> you said that? Yeah, it seems like you need to buy a bag or something. I'm like, what the fuck? This is Atlanta living? <laughs> <laughs> that's but, how bitches out here think. That's what's fucked up. But the crazy part about it is Jazz got the goddamn bag. <laughs> but I'm not going to buy no bag if I ain't got no money. No, it's different. I'm never going to do that. Bitch, we know you had a coin. No, I ain't. I mean. You had a coin. Bitch, let's be clear. But I still would not do that. Girl, like, I If you don't got the money, don't fucking do if it. If you don't got money to spend it twice. It's kill or get killed. Yeah. Bitch, I may not fight bitches, but I will make your ass, cut mm -hmm. your ass, and beat your ass. Oh, no, I love you. Oh, thank you. What's the next question y'all wanna answer? What's what did it say on the I forgot there's two cameras. I'm looking at this one and it's this one. What are the questions say in the comments? Um what about microblading? That shit I don't like microblading. That shit be looking ugly. That shit ugly as fuck. Where y'all going? Nowhere I'm sitting in the house. Nowhere. I got a flight ticket, that's it. In Atlanta, baby, you do not get on no airplane without a cute outfit on and your makeup done. You don't never know who you may meet. I swear to God. Damn. Oh, hey, y'all. We ain't even reading it. We my not. phone had died. Oh, my God. Why your nails so long? Because she like them long. Her nigga love them. Who nails long? Yours. No, Her nigga's short. They, they talking about shorts. They dick ripples. Mm. Period. Basically. Uh, where is the fucking lash glue? I'm finna use got to be glue for my lash. Go by. Right here. Bitch, you gonna be ghost stuck. You better stop playing. I don't lashes. You, wow. me. Are they hard? Yeah, especially without tweezers. Oh, you don't have any tweezers? I put ones. No, I ain't bring any. Who said they love your birthmark? Thank you. I love his birthmark. I love it too. too. I thought it was like a starstruck. Really? Mm -hmm, like a lightning bolt. Yeah, that. It, it looks like a llama. It looks like no, a lightning like bolt. I always explain like a llama. No. It looks like a lightning bolt. It's so cute. Can we link the lives together? No, you dumbass. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> Damn, bitch. Slow up. Slow up. They said, hear from Cry Period. Yeah. Leave Kyra live and come to mine. <laughs> they leave. <laughs> leave. <laughs> What did they say? They leave, leave your life. Leave Kyra come to mine. Fuck Kyra live. Kyra, where you at? Kyra, your man on here. She ain't got no...